Welcome to this live stream at uh, Corrective. Uh, my name is Frederick. Um, I am one of the journalists at uh, Germany's um, first non-profit newsroom. Um, we're here in our Berlin office. And I'm here with um, Greg, um, an artist from Burkina Faso. And we are here to um, talk to you and the audience here in the newsroom about our new book, um, Made in Germany, a Massacre in Congo, um, which we published um, recently. <coughs> Um, so we're here to um, present the book, um, discuss it, and um, discuss in particular how to um, combine journalism and art and, and why um, we're actually doing that. So um, I'll start by um, just presenting the book briefly um, to those of you who haven't um, seen it yet. Um, it's been printed already in, in German, and we are working on an English version which will be published online. Um, Probably by the end of the year, we're, we're still working on that. Um, so first, I'll, I'll just go through the content um, of of the book. It's it's a graphic novel um, which is based on journalistic work. It's based on an investigation, um, and the topic is um, broadly um, a Rwandan militia called FDLR, which was founded in um, Eastern Congo. Um, around the year 2000. Um, it was founded by um, uh, refugees from Rwanda who were involved <coughs> in the genocide in Rwanda in, in 1994. And um, later on they, they went on in, in 2009 in particular um, to commit some massacres. Um, they burned down some villages and uh, raped a lot of women. And um, so they committed war crimes and their political leaders, um, they had a military structure, but they also had a political structure. And this political structure was um, the president and the vice president had been living in Germany for, for a long time. And this is what we are, um, this is the, the main issue of, of the book. Um, so we, it was a collaboration between me as a journalist and Greg as an artist. And um, I'll just talk you through um, the book a little bit. Um, this is um, kind of the scene where they, where they, f you know, where um, in, in around the year 2000 the militia was actually founded in Eastern Congo, um, and um, then um, later on. Um, In, in, in the main part of the book, we, we describe the, the political uh, situation, the military situation in the lead up to those massacres. You can see here the, the situation in Congo, um, the two provinces um, where um, in very remote areas, um, basically FDLR created its own kind of state, um, dreaming of returning to the homeland um, in, in Rwanda uh, later on. Um, but then, um, Congolese forces joined with Rwandan forces and tried to basically um, win the war against FDLR. And in this context, um, they committed um, massacres um, against the um, population. This is a village, only one village um, out of several that were burned down, um, but we wanted to focus on one village called Busurungi, which they attacked in uh, May 2009. This is before um, the massacre. Um, it also shows Greg's style, I think, to work with large panels. Um, it's not a very typical graphic novel in that sense. Um, and this is the, the massacre, the way we, we saw it. And this is the village afterwards, um, the way we saw it. Um, I'll get back to this in, in, in a second. Um, so, so this is this is what we choose as the topic of the of the graphic novel. Um, however, it's a bit more complex because we also decided to um, kind of have Greg as a character inside the book as well. So, um, I'll just skip to the um, I'll just skip to the um, to the start of the book of the novel. Um, 
This is Greg um, sitting in, in Burkina Faso in Ouagadougou, um, start kind of showing how he embarks on a journey. Um, it introduces the country as well, Burkina Faso, its politics, and um, it. Um, so you can see him here as a character starting to wonder, you know, why is, is, is our politics so violent um, and what kind of role does Europe play in this as well? Um, and then the reader follows him basically through the book. It's a technique that we use in our journalism from time to time, um, also in like written features um, and um, also in our graphic novels and we also decided to, to, to do that. Um, here in this case, so you can see Greg from time to time. Most of the time, I also appear, but only in, on, you know, in one or two pages. Um, and then he travels to Berlin and kind of meets Berlin and its own history of violence, but also its own connections with the colonial past um, in, um, um, and Germany's colonial past. He's visiting an exhibition, um, a colonial exhibition. Um, kind of the political architecture of, of Berlin. This is the exhibition and you know you can see the Berlin conference in, in 1884. Um, and then Greg kind of decides to 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 work on this and um, together with me this is the building that we're in now and then he um, kind of starts to investigate and and, and um, work on, on all the colonial links which date back um, a long time between Germany and, and Rwanda, leading up to, to those, um, to, you know, to the fact that um, those two militia leaders could live in Germany for such a long time. Um, you know, here it um, um, shows how um, there are two um, Army universities, Bundeswehr Akademie, one in Munich, one in Hamburg, and they train a lot of um, officers from a lot of African armies, including those of the Rwandan regime uh, prior to the genocide. Um, and some of them would later on, you know, uh, move on to, to to form this militia as well. Um, and this is all the kind of the historic and political uh, lead up to to the to the genocide in Rwanda. Um, so one one layer um, is basically what happened in, in in Congo. One layer is his um, of the narrative. One layer is Greg in in Germany, and then the one layer in between kind of is Greg following in the footsteps of the two of the president and the vice president of the FDLR in Germany, visiting um, where they lived in Stuttgart and Mannheim. You know, here he's kind of he's um, visiting places where, where they used to live, um, and, and and you can see here that um, maybe unconsciously it's it's not only written for a German audience. You know, like such a map we included to give readers who don't know Germany a bit of an orientation as well about his trips uh, where where he was traveling. Um, And um, this is um, th the basics um, of, of the book, um, how we, how we um, kind of structured the narrative. <coughs> um, I have one question to you. Mm -hmm. um, this happened in 2009 in a very remote area of Congo um, and there were no I think today a lot of, um, you know, if you look at the genocide in, in Myanmar against the, the Muslim population there, mm -hmm. this happened just uh, a year or so ago and there's already a lot of documentation. So today everybody has a smartphone even in remote areas documenting everything, in particular demonstrations, political violence. Mm -hmm. But probably th there's no document, uh, no visual um, testimony of these massacres. So how did you go about imagining such a, you know, this this page, for example, of, of how such a village looked after after a massacre? Uh, actually, uh, I inspired inspired by um, 
My, my country, of course, uh, Burkina Faso, even if it's not totally uh, like a Congo, and uh, I uh, inspire from uh, pictures that I uh, get on the uh, internet. And um, I, uh, a bit of imagin imagination also. How much imagination? The imagination that I use, it was more to, uh, to draw the massacre. For example, uh, not these pages, but the pages just before. Maybe you can show not, not these pages. The, the yeah, just just before. No, no, sorry. The just before the yeah after after that. Yeah, for example, this uh, to show the massacre. Of course, uh, I didn't uh, look for. Uh, for example, the the woman uh, would be would be raped, and the the the, the kids uh, is burning. Uh, It was imagination, but for the landscape and the thing like that, it was uh, with the pictures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. If you have any questions here or uh, via Facebook or YouTube, um, David, you will let me know. Um, if you have any questions here, um, just you can just uh, interrupt. Um, um, Mm -hmm. uh, your style of drawing, um, where did you get that from? Like where did you learn that and how did you develop this fashion? Uh, I, th I think I'll just repeat the question so that people also can hear. Yeah, sure, sure. The, the question is um, to Greg, um, where did you learn your style and how did you develop your style? Um, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a style of um, one country or another. Uh, or another. And uh, I don't think you can learn the style. It, uh, I learned to draw uh, during my studies in France. And after I develop, uh, develop it in uh, Burkina Faso. But I find my, my style, uh, my style, sorry, working on working. And, uh, and no, my style is more, even if in it's, uh, this book is more uh, dramatic, my, my style is more humoristic most of time. So that's why it was interesting for me to work uh, in this way to show, to, to work in other way than, than the way that I use most of time. Did, did, you, did you adapt your style? Because as you said, it's very um, humoristic and we will show some of your other work later on. Mm -hmm. Did you adapt it in a way to um, these kind of heavy issues, very sad issues, I mean, war crimes, uh, massacres? Um, did you think Did you have to? Did you have to f reflect on that to kind of adapt your style? I don't think so. Uh, what it was interesting for me it was to work on a dramatic, uh, dramatic, uh, sorry, um, object, subject, sorry, uh, with uh, my drawing. And uh, thanks, to, uh, it's my opinion. Um, it's my opinion. I don't know if it's true, but uh, thanks to my style, uh, this dramatic was lighter than if you if we show the photogra photography or thing like this and um, yes and i adapt my style more for the the, the 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 fact that it will be a book in the narrative okay. way more than in the dramatic way okay. i think okay. Okay. but you also describing yourself um, i think in your biography that you also kind of started in the street um, with yeah. graffiti and th this is where your style developed um, and you're still painting murals until today. We'll also show some of your work later mm. on. Was that a challenge? I mean, normally you have like three meters times three meters. Mm -hmm. Now you have something like this. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, of course it was. A yeah. Was that a challenge or did you have to adapt? Yeah, of course it was a challenge because um, I didn't make a, a comic reportage or a book before. so. Uh, It was a big challenge, but uh, it it what I very like in my uh, work to to have a challenge and to manage to to do it. And uh, fortunately, I was not alone. I was with you, and so that's why we. It was more. It was easier for me to work with someone and to uh, exchange a lot, yeah. in a way. And but I make a mural, but I I work on a many support, not only murals. Yeah. But it was a challenge at the end. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you have also been working for an organization called Cartooning for Peace. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us more about that? Uh, what kind of work you did there? 
Yeah, Cartooning for Peace uh, is an, orga it's, uh, an organization made by uh, Plantu. Uh, he made this organization uh, uh, after the, the Mahomet caricature to, 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 to uh, support the illustration, uh, illustrator sorry, in the world and to make some workshop in uh, many countries. So we work thanks to a friend of me uh, with uh, Cartooning for Peace and we worked uh, last year in a, um, we made a workshop in a, for the in the school and in a, in the jail with a Burkinabe prisoner in yeah. jail in Burkina Faso yeah, exactly okay. and we are they political prisoners or are they um no it was uh, actually we didn't we didn't ask the question to them uh, if uh, if it was political prisoner or not okay we were more focused about the, the, the thing to bring them uh, freedom to work on something else and to forget about the condition of, uh, of, of them. Yeah. No, okay. mm. um, I lived in, this is a coincidence, I lived in Burkina Faso 20 years ago um, for one year in the end of the 90s um, under Blas Compaoré, mm. um, which was. Um, um, difficult time, um, mm -hmm. no real free um, democracy. It was also a year in which a journalist was murdered, Norbert Zongu, one of the main journalists at the time. We also cover it in the book, kind of in the lead up, yeah, the where, we, where we start to develop the narrative. <coughs> um, it's here? It's, yeah, it's over there. Right. Um, what is the situation today? Is it possible to for the meet for journalists, but also for artists, to to work freely um, in Burkina Faso? Um, yes, uh, compared to other countries, yes, I think. Uh, just for the drawing, it's a bit sad because uh, the, the satirical uh, newspaper uh, called the Journal de Jeudi uh, was uh, closed uh, recently. And uh, but actually, uh, f when it was a uh, Blaise Compaoré uh, uh, situation, it was more different. But nowadays, it's uh, total, totally free. Of course, there is a sub subject that then uh, it can work compared to, uh, for example, Afri no, not African Burkina Bay subject. Uh, the culture is different than in Europe, so uh, there are some some subject is uh, difficult for the people. On other or not, okay. I don't know. But more, more on the cultural. Yeah, basis. more yeah. in the cu cultural way, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. But uh, yeah, it's a totally a freedom <coughs> country, I think, for the uh, illustrator and the journalists. Okay. I, I have one last question, maybe before we show some of your other work. Um, mm. You moved between France and Burkina Faso mm. several times. I think some of your studies took place in Burkina Faso, mm. some in France. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not an. I'm just a, a journalist. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I no, normally d don't uh, follow arts um, a, a lot, but this style strikes me. Um, it's it's very different from what you see um, in in many graphic novels that I, I read recently. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of very distinct style. Um, did that play a big part in in when you develop your style that you moved between? two cultures mm -hmm. between France and, and Burkina Faso? Yeah, of course. Uh, of course, uh, for, exa for example, the subject. Is, uh, when I moved to Burkina Faso, I, s I changed my subject. And the, uh, on the thing is, I make a lot of murals. So when you paint on a, in a mural, you paint in a public space. So you have to be careful of what you draw. And, uh, so there, it's, it's totally different than uh, in Europe, I think. And uh, but it's so it's good for me because uh, in Burkina Faso, the people love uh, humor, and me is my like I said, my uh, drawing is very humoristic, and it's so it's very it fits uh, very well with uh, what I draw, I think. There, and uh, yeah, my style uh, uh, change with uh, with the Burkina Faso, with the because I lived there since ten years, so on. No, my, it changed my way to think, I think, more than my style, in a way. Yeah, okay. Mm. Is it the first time that both of you combine art and journalism like this? 
the question is, is this the first time that we combined um, art and journalism? And, um, for Corrective or for uh, Frédéric and me? Both of you, for Corrective or for something else? Okay. Maybe for you can ask. For, for, for us, uh, personally, it was the first time. Uh, so it was a bit of a challenge. Um, it was very new to us. But Corrective has done several books. Um, maybe I'll, um, if David can has a second, um, can show me, give me some uh, previous examples, I can show them to you. Um, so this is the, the third or fourth, and we just published actually three at the same time. And uh, maybe I can tell a little bit, explain a little bit why we're doing this. Um, one of the ideas behind Corrective is to, uh, or the basic idea is, um, thank you, Great. Is, is, is um, to strengthen journalism um, through different ways, by you know cooperating with other media, passing on our knowledge, but <coughs> also to find new formats and new ways of distribution for journalism to reach another audience. Um, so this is why we're experimenting with new forms. One of them is graphic novels. We've also done a theater play. So um, this is already, I think, three, three years old. Uh, Weiße Wölfe, it's a graphic novel about NSU right-wing terrorism. Um, I think this was quite successful in the graphic novel market. Um, um, and um, this is something um, we, where we just um, produced the, um, the, the, the German edition, basically, um, of an international New York Times bestseller. Um, and there's two or three other examples. So, um, yeah. And we are planning to do more um, to build up kind of a portfolio um, to make journalism also more relevant and kind of remove it from the day to day news. You know, where everyone's just running after the news, but to, yeah. This is already said, this one was quite successful, so you have good experiences so far, like people yes, like uh, yes, it. Yes, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and this was not, also not only uh, printed as a book, but also as an exhibition. You know, the, the, the panels were printed, uh, um, you know, in big format, and then it was toured through several cities um, of Germany, which is also something that will not happen if you publish an article or an investigation on the internet. You know, um, of course, it's going to be discussed, but um, it kind of exposes journalism to another interaction. You know, you have people in the evening together in a room, or they can, you know, just during the day walk through an exhibition. Um, you know, so this is something that we did with Vice Versa. And it's something that, you know, if, if uh, we would love to maybe do something like that in Africa, because it's an African subject, um, mm -hmm. African audience, African artist. So maybe if we can find some funding, you know, it would be nice to, to do maybe exhibitions. Uh, Just interrupt me if you have a any other questions, and we will show yeah. some um, Example. Of the other work. Yeah, sure. Um, Before I have another <coughs> question for sure. you, uh, regarding, regarding this book, um, about the way you work together. Mm -hmm. so because I, I read the book, and uh, in the book, then, like you said, you decided to introduce uh, uh, Craig as a, as a character, as a mm -hmm. voice, somebody who explores Germany. And um, I was wondering what is your, um, because your predisposition about the, for the project, like, uh, because you pre seem to present the theme to, to Craig. And um, do you have something specific in mind? Because your voice is sort of, sort of uh, in the very much in the background. So we hear Greg's voice uh, talking to us, and then there are other texts that are, could be him talking, but I just assume it's like a collective author. And, uh, yeah, how, how does this work, this interaction of who, who's talking, and, uh, and what was your uh, way of, of uh, traumatizing the material? Yeah, OK. So, so the question is, um, <coughs> about how did we work together, um, in particular as Greg is one of the characters in the book, um, and um, kind of, um, I, I guess, um, who, who wrote the text and, and how did that um, cooperation um, work. Um, Actually, the, the, the idea to, 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 to cover this particular uh, FDLR story came, came from David um, because um, this looked doable um, during the time that we had. But once we had chosen this, um, I kind of I researched it and then we broke it down into um, 
the chunks that we could um, you know, present to the reader because it's a very, very complex political story in the background. So we had to cut down a, li a lot. Um, but he was here for six months, sitting over there, um, fairly close to me, and so we interacted a lot. And then once we kind of, um, in the beginning, we defined the, the, the narrative, the, 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 the very broad narrative, what comes first and then, you know, where do we go next? Um, so that he could start to, to draw. And then um, only towards the end, um, you know, I don't know whether that's how it's done typically, um, did I write the, f the actual text. Um, but we agreed on everything in advance. Um, but because it was meant to be published in German first, I wrote the text and then I showed it to him. Mm -hmm. um, this, is, this is how we did it. And, um, Yes, it's a bit personal in the beginning, you know, his thoughts, um, hi it's his voice, um, and it kind of blends with the background. Actually, this is a very good page, kind of transitioning from the political, his political experience in Burkina Faso, transitioning to like a broader question, um, um, w why do these kind of, um, why does this political violence take place? And this was our main, um, idea that if he's in the book as a character, he needs a question in the beginning um, that makes the reader want to have an answer to that question. For example, in the case of Weiße Wölfe, um, here David also chose um, the same method of himself in that case as a character in the book. So it starts with the question, okay, these right-wing terrorists, they killed in several cities in Germany, but why here in Dortmund? So that's the question, why um, did this happen here in, in my area where I am? And from that question, and that then kind of the character or the hero embarks on that. Yeah. Um, does that answer your question? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, do you have anything to add? Uh, about the question or yeah. about... Uh, no, about the question. No, I think uh, you say uh, everything. Okay. Um, yeah, we, uh, but we worked together, but we, it was not only, uh, I made, I drew on the, make the text, we draw very like a team, I think. We, but at the end he wrote the text, of course, and then me the, the, the drawing, but we made the, 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 the book step by step. I, I don't know what your experience is. Um, I heard that a lot of the times an author, he just writes a script completely and then gives it to an artist to implement it. Mm. Is that the most common yeah, way of doing it? Depends it? From, from and I've okay. done everything. I mean, I've written for another artist, uh, and really like a full script with a very detailed description for each panel, and the, uh, the, yeah, the whole uh, thing was very much uh, preconceived by me. But, but then I also did a collaboration where I'm drawing and, and, and writing together now with, with my day job, yeah. the art department, Dominique Complet, and the we develop the story together, so so we yeah, we yeah. start to improvise, and then it gets more more clear. Maybe like you did. And yeah, th we we you also improvised a bit. Yeah, yeah. Then you work with them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. The thing is with uh, the Dominique Goblet, you know very well each other. Dominique Goblet. No, no, yes, yes, yeah, yes. Right. But when we started, I'm, I just yeah, she said propose something, and I, I <laughs> yeah, did no. four pictures. And uh, I think we discover each other at the, during the the comic with uh, Frederic. Yeah. Because we didn't know it at all at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> we, we it's always good, I guess, uh, even if there's a, a completely finished script, then to have the opportunity if we really work together to change stuff during the mm -hmm. drawing process. Yeah. To say, okay, it's, it's, it's like the Bible, and now you have yeah, to look at exactly. scripture. It's not like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it shouldn't be. Yeah. We have an artist in the audience who just shared some of his experiences as well. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to present some of your other work. Yeah, so I have a big lecture, yeah. Uh, three, please. Uh, I start with uh, the, 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 my, the free drawing that I make. Um, this is not commission work, it's more, it's just for me. Uh, so sometimes it's about, uh, maybe you can open it. Yeah, hang on. I, um then it's gonna jump to the other screen, but I'll, I'll do my best. Okay, I don't know if you, maybe you see something, yeah. I don't know if it's useful. Huh? Yeah. 
So I see just some example uh, for so this is the, the free drawing part of my work. So most of time you can maybe go quickly uh, like that because for okay yeah. So um, like I can explain uh, yeah. then. Ah oh, well okay. For so the, the the first one was about cigarette. But, uh, I think it's very obvious uh, the. This is a drawing that I make, uh, like you see, it's more, uh, you see the African, uh, the Burkinabe, sorry, uh, uh, influence uh, in this drawing. I made, I made this um, because uh, it was maybe two years or three years ago, uh, the, the, the military uh, begins to uh, make a riot. And uh, I made this in the way to in the Pacific way. Uh, Fait du tôt pas la guerre. It means uh, make tôt. Tôt it's uh, the traditional uh, dish of uh, Burkina Faso. The Paso. national dish of Burkina Faso. Not war. So it was more in uh, and in the funny way. And that's why I, li I like to use the the funny way to express something. And. Um, and sometimes it's more. Some uh, I really love. Maybe you can show this. this. Yeah, I made a lot, a series of things like this. Is uh, I I uh, I had uh, inverse the, the the situation. This is a s I inverse the situation with the boss and the cleaner woman. But uh, I made uh, many of the, of this, and um, uh, I made an exhibition. Mike. Mike. Yeah. I made an exhibition in uh, Burkina Faso, uh, and this is the pictures of uh, the exhibition that I make. Uh, I made a work about the slogan. Is it English? A slogan? Slogan, yeah. Slogan. No, yes. uh, so I imagine. Uh, I take. I took the slogan and I imagine a new way to to mean it. So oh, give it a new meaning. Yeah. Exactly. So at the end, I make many many, many pictures. What, this is one of the pictures, and uh, I made another one. Uh, can you come back on the, this? Yeah, Apple, for example, it was for Nike, this is for Apple. Uh, with the slogan, Fig Different. Uh, and maybe another one, I think and I, I have another one. Why did you... Um, this is about... This is the Willem Tell. Guillaume Tell, yeah. Yeah. Yeah it's, yeah, it's about the story of Guillaume Tell. It's a way to show the, the apple in another way. <laughs> yeah, in a f f far away way. And uh, for this is for uh, Durex? No, no, not this one. This is for the, the famous brand of uh, condom uh, that uh, everybody, everybody knows, I think. So this is, uh, in it was more sarcastic, so I made uh, many canvas of it, and uh, I make a big exhibition. And uh, on some time, I make some work about uh, zombie. Uh, show the last one. Yeah, sometimes it's more drawing about uh, the, the daily thing, about the pe the fact that the people are like a zombie with a with a phone, and. Um, so this is my free drawing, and I can show you also some my some press drawing that I made. It's not totally press cartoon, but it's it's about uh, most of time actuality news. This is uh, because the in two I have the pro problem with the date. It was two years ago, I think. It was a, a, a general made a push in Burkina Faso on a. And during the putsch, uh, I was at home and I made many drawings about the, the putsch, about the, um, the different uh, step of the push, the putsch, sorry. Coup so d'état. Coup d'état, yeah. And this is one of the, the drawings. This is another one. Uh, it means, uh, how to say in English, um, how to say, accord signé entre le RSP et l'armée. Uh, like an agreement? Agreement, signed? yeah. And uh, there is another one, maybe th this is the, the end of the, the putsch, the, the guy. This one? Or yeah. Because this solution, it means in French, uh, like the, um, the medicine that you put in a, 
in it's water a, to, to dissolve. Yeah. The I don't know if you understand the meaning. Uh, yeah. And uh, da, da, da. this is uh, for the election in Burkina Faso. I made this because uh, the last election. I wait a drawing. The last election, uh, there is there were uh, there were many parties, and the fact uh, was that the parties was not in the same as the same money. And the MPP and the UPC was uh, very rich compared to the other parties, yeah. so it was not totally fair at the end. So it was uh, that's why I made uh, I made it. Yeah. And fin finally, MPP we, uh, won, of course, yeah. <laughs> with the big uh, surprise. Car. This is why this uh, the FN. For, oh yeah, this is a drawing that I made about the um, the right wing in France. Front National. Front National. Um, yeah, just to be careful with it, I think <laughs> it can explode. Uh, this is a um, drawing that I made. It was a, a commission work to express uh, the inequality between the north and the south. And it's like uh, in this drawing, it's like um, the people taking the plane, but uh, it's not a yeah, plane idea. And, uh, uh, yeah, and the shark is waiting uh, them, uh, and you can see the European Union. Uh, yeah. On the back, but I made another one. I made four, but I show you only two. I made another one. This is uh, inspired by the Le Radeau de la Méduse. It's a famous canvas, and I uh, inspired, uh, inspired of uh, this canvas to uh, make this drawing. And uh, I show you uh, some walls to finish. Some walls that I made in Ouagadougou. Uh, Which one? Well, not this one. It's too big. For example, yes, this, this, this yeah, this one, yeah. For example, this is the kind of wall that I made in Ouagadougou. Uh, it's like the um, last drawing that I saw. It, I inverse here the the wall with the fish on the man. Nice. I like. To paint the wall in Burkina Faso because the wall is uh, has a lot of uh, spirit, and that's why I don't uh, cover it. I just put my drawing on it. What What do you mean by spirit? The The background, I, uh, the, the the wall there is uh, there. Are, there is a lot of uh, I don't know how to say in English. The texture. Uh, texture. I thank you. Okay. Uh, and I like. I really love the support on uh, this wall. On the. Uh, this is uh, yeah. This is a drawing that I made in Senegal. Uh, yeah, for example, this. Can this I show this? Yes, yes. This is a, a wall that I made in uh, Morocco. This one. I made a residency the two years ago. Uh, no, one years ago. Sorry, in Morocco in Meknes. On uh, there, I, I made a big wall in the inside the Medina of Meknes. So I made, uh, I imagine to, uh, I using the, the cultural thing and the <coughs> object thing and the, the expression of there, Mashimushkil and uh, of Darija and uh, I, I gather all this thing in the, in the big painting. Yeah. Yeah. And Is it visible or should I make it big? Bigger. Okay. Bigger. Okay. Like this? Yeah. Okay. It's very nice. If you have some question, uh, don't hesitate. Um, so, more more. Globe Mama, this is a last drawing, a old drawing that I made in Burkina Faso. It's sometimes it's a bit obvious, so I can explain, but uh, I think you, you understand the, the drawing. So, on the this woman carrying the world. Exactly, because the, in the Burkina Faso, the, the woman. Uh, work uh, like a crazy uh, compared to the men. Uh, so that's why uh, I'm sometimes I'm a bit, uh, how to say, uh, uh, not nervous, angry about it, because uh, sometimes the people are drinking on uh, tea and, uh, but, and the women work. Uh, and and that's why uh, I wanted to express this. And, uh, yeah. and uh, that's why I made this. And it's uh, inspired uh, by Atlas, uh, the famous pictures, of course, of Atlas, who were wooing the, the world. Yeah. 
Okay, we have a video as well. Yeah. To well just give some impression yeah. of how Burkina Faso looks like as well. And it's even uh, working. Uh, you can maybe. So the, the wall, wall. One more wall? No, no, no. The wall that I, the, of the video. Tanti Love. Uh, no, it's not Tanti. This one. The last I, one? Yeah, I will talk. Yeah, this one, the last one, yeah. So uh, after that, I will show you also a video about uh, this wall. This wall, I made it. It's uh, uh, how to say in English. Uh, it's difficult to, uh, to say in English, but Tanti Liberté. It means uh, Tanti. It means uh, the the old ladies in in Burkina Faso, very respectful. And uh, I made it to uh, inspire of the Statue of Liberty, of course. And I made it after the popular insurrection of. Um, 2014. Uh, it's written on it. Yeah. I don't know if you see it. Yeah. And um, because for me this date was very important because it's the date of uh, of uh, it's uh, the date where the people kick out the uh, last president and um, and it it was a crazy day for me because uh, these people. Uh, managed to kick out the president uh, using no violence and, uh, and uh, I was very proud of, uh, of them. After so 30 years. After 30 years because the, the... Approximately 30 years. Yeah, yeah the, 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 pre oh, the last president arrived in... in 86? Eight, 87, I think. Yeah. 87 and, uh, and he was the president during... Uh, almost 30 years. Yeah. Almost 30 years. Oh. And, uh, yeah, sorry. Just practically, how did you get up there? How did yeah? Uh, I how, how did you climb? Climb. Ah, using an uh, échafaudage. I don't know. It's ah, okay, English. Okay. You will see on the video. You had a scaffolding. Okay. Exactly, yeah. and it was my way to say uh, thank you to the to the to the people of Burkina Faso. This drawing. It was very important for me to made it, and I starting the the the, the mural. Maybe two days after the terrorist attack. So I wanted to start uh, by chance the, 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 the day of the terrorist attack. So it was uh, not how, how long did it take? Actually, I, I, I uh, planned to, to make uh, during one month, but I finished in two weeks. Two weeks. So yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, better at the end. Uh, and uh, so I will, sh I can show, I will show you some uh, a video of, uh, of it, and you will see the atmosphere of Burkina Faso. And I hope you will uh, come uh, to see me, uh, to meet me uh, there. Um, okay, this is the video. David, let me know about the sound. Uh, sh there's some music. I'll just play it. But stop, this. stop the sound? No, no. Craig uh, should stop. Um, this? No, you did this. Ah, I did this. Okay, sorry. Uh, I, I make my end here. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just start again. Uh, hang on. Uh, There is no sound. Oh, there is. Okay. Mm. Okay. This is auto. Is that for the show? This is the show for the show. Yeah.
And I forget to say that I work with uh, yeah, Hervé. We work uh, two uh, in the in the wall, in the mural. You were two um, yeah, yeah. artists. Yeah, I forgot yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I was going to ask you. I was not. Uh, I was not alone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I forgot to mention uh, right. this important stuff. Okay. Yeah, Please. I want to ask you who, who, were, who was the other one? That, um, how did you work together? Like how come that you worked with the, the, the other guy? With the, the other. Yeah, the actually, the, the, the question is um, who was the other artist working on the on this mural? Actually, he's, he's not an artist. It's, oh, uh, it's, a, fr it's a friend of me, and uh, because the, the, the work was uh, a lot, so I just asked it to my f this friend, and I pay him. It was not uh, for free, and uh, it was uh, a colleague or something. Uh, mm. It was, uh, but it's, it was not an artist. He now he's it's a, he's a kind of artist, thanks to uh, he mm. I think it give it to him the. The, 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 feel, uh, the feeling to, to, to Come made more, so. yeah, exactly. And how does it work um, generally? There's an empty wall and then you suggest something to the city or the city pays you to... No, it's, uh, I make the walls... The, the, so, so the, the, uh, the question is, um, uh, did the city provide the wall? How did you find the wall? Um, did the city pay you to, to do this? Most of time, it's uh, just to, s to start it. Uh, I made uh, this mural. It's, it's, it's very for because it's my passion. And uh, to find the mural, most of time, it's just I uh, driving my moto. Uh, most of time, Wagadougou, and it's a kind of uh, coup de foudre. I don't know how to say in English. Uh Love at first sight. Love at first sight. Loving first sight. Uh, so uh, I'm falling in love a wall, and uh, I s and I after that, uh, when I'm falling in love uh, of a wall, uh, I try to m to meet the people and to uh, explain to him uh, my art, and most of the time he accepts, and it's my way to find a wall. And uh, I never ask to the city, but uh, it's a plan to ask in the future. For where is this one? Where is this wall situated? Central, yeah, yeah. The, the, um, the question is where in Ouagadougou is this wall um, that we just saw? This wall is just behind the uh, like uh, Champs Elysees of uh, Ouagadougou, and uh, so it's uh, very central, of course. And uh, that's why I, uh, it was important for me that this wall was very central, uh, in a way. But the, the thing is, many people didn't see it. Sometimes they just. Uh, Drive on. Uh, I say to my friend, "Did you see the wall?" He said, "No." Uh, <laughs> Why is the wall? I say, "Come on, uh, it's a uh, very big." And, uh, and uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, and and now you're also doing a wall in Berlin. Yeah, I'm uh, making a wall. I don't know if you see my uh, hand. Uh, I'm making a wall at the moment in uh, the Yam. It's a uh, African uh, club. It's more than a club actually. It's a place where the people come and uh, can eat some African food on a. Have a good time, and uh, sometimes they made a concert, uh, con hip hop concert, reggae concert, and things like that. And uh, also, they are, they are really involved in the, the artistic uh, workshop. And uh, I mi meet a guy called Henrik there, and uh, he invited me to make a wall. So I'm very happy to make a wall in Berlin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right now, we'll publish it. 
okay. once it's done on, Thank on, you. on Thank our you. Facebook page. Do you have any more questions? Um, what are you drawing in the gun? Well, the question I is, what is the new m mural about? Uh, it's a surprise. No, it's sorry. No, I, uh, I'm making a, a pictures or drawing of uh, many people who protest uh, because a uh, few days ago, uh, it was a few days ago, uh, they, they were a big protest in uh, Berlin, uh, I think you know about it, uh, about the, the, the right wing uh, rising. And, uh, I made it to to protest me, uh, and, uh, so I draw many characters on the wall uh, protesting, and uh, character of many nationality, and, uh, and with the big, uh, with a big, uh, uh, I don't know how to say in English, panel, um, like a banner. Yeah, very, very, very rare, uh, big stuff like this, and it's written until bar, uh, until bar, sorry, uh, with a German accent, yeah. yeah. Because I until bar, I very love this uh, way uh, to express uh, the fact that the people is uh, not di divisible. So that, but it's not finished. It will be finished maybe uh, in a few days, I think. Yeah. Quite quick. Thank you, Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> um.